friends, what's up? It's April here. Today I'm going to share with you a bunch of library books that I got out and I also received two books in the mail from publishers but other than that I have not bought any books since posting my last book haul and I'm super proud of myself. So I'll start off with this lovely book that Pan Macmillan sent me. I love Pan Macmillan, they send me the best new releases. This first one is When Michael Met Mina by Randa Abdul Fattah. If you guys know me well, you'll know that she is honestly one of my favourite authors now. I read Does My Head Look Big in This earlier this year and I just raved about it. And they sent me her new release that's coming out on the 28th of June. And I am lucky enough to be a part of the blog tour for this. So check back here and on my Goodreads and on my book blog on July the 5th because I will be participating in that. This is all about Michael and Mina obviously. Um, Mina fled Afghanistan with her mother via a refugee camp, a leaky boat and a detention centre. Um, but Michael's parents have founded a new political party called Aussie Values and they want to stop the boats. And they meet each other and things happen. Um, this is such an important and powerful novel especially at this time in Australia's history with what's happening and I just think it's really important to read about it, to open up your mind and see different perspectives. And no surprise, this book is absolutely incredible. Randa Abdul Fattah never ceases to amaze me. Oh my goodness. Then they sent me a middle grade book called The House on Hummingbird Island by Sam Angus. Um, I have no idea what this is about, they just sent it to me unsolicited. Um, but it sounds like a really adorable middle grade story featuring a lot of animals, which I love. Um, I'm not sure if I'll ever get around to this one, but there you go. Now I know it exists and now you do too. Alright, now onto the library section. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen this in a photo, but I renewed it because I didn't read it in time, but I really still want to read it, and that is The Masked Truth by Kelly Armstrong. Apparently this deals with mental illness, but it's sort of a thriller. I don't know, but it sounds awesome and Kirsty from Melbourne on my mind raves about it and I definitely trust her reviews so keen to check this one out. Then we have Seconds by Brian Lee O'Malley which is a book that I've been meaning to read for the longest time. Ever since it came out I've wanted to read this and just never had the chance so I saw it at the library and I thought awesome I don't have to spend $30 to buy it I can just read it now. So I got it out and it has awesome art style, the story was so unique, unlike anything I've ever read before, especially in graphic novel form. It was awesome, but I'll talk about that more in my wrap up. We have The Crown by Kira Cass. I don't own The Air as a physical copy, so I thought that I'd borrow The Crown out from the library because that's just easier and cheaper and yay book buying ban. This is another one that I've already read and I will talk about it soon. So I was in the library about to check out my books and I looked at a display. I immediately did a little squeal to myself and picked it up and it is If I Was Your Girl by Meredith Russo. This is all about a transgender girl who changes schools and the amazing thing about this is that it is written by a trans woman and I just think this will add so much more to the reading experience and it's inspired by her own experiences and I just, I'm really excited for this one. Then we have Salt to the Sea by Bruda Sepetti and this book is inspired by the worst disaster in maritime history and it's a story that not many people really know about so I'm intrigued to pick this one up and I read her other novel and loved it so keen for this one. And then we have George by Alex Gino, I'm so excited for this. This is about George and George knows that she is a girl, not a boy, and it's sort of her struggle to tell people that, that she is not a boy, she's meant to be a girl. She wants to play Charlotte in Charlotte's Web for the play, the school play, and it's just all about her experience going through that, and I'm really excited because this is middle grade, and this is something that needs to be in books for kids, and I'm really, really excited about this one too. And lastly, these are not books but I did borrow them out from the library. <sighs> so I am currently in the middle of season five of Gilmore Girls and I am totally on board the Logan ship right now, okay? And I borrowed out season six and the first half of season seven because I just don't really have the money to buy them. 
So I saw them at the library and it was just meant to be. So I got them and I'm trash for this series. So you have it, there is my recent library haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know any of your thoughts on any of these books down below and I will see you guys soon with a new video. Goodbye.